dad family uh, today I am going down to Ken Grody Ford in Orange County to get the oil change in my Shelby GT 500 uh, but another reason why I'm going down there is to check out the uh, new 2020 GT 500 uh, they do have one on the lot I uh, posted it to my Instagram last night it looks like it has a carbon fiber track pack and a couple of other upgrades so I'll show you that I'll get you the sticker and everything uh, but also uh, it has a dealer markup and uh, I'll let you guys know what that is as soon as I get there one of the things about living in California is that uh, we do see a lot of a lot of sunshine and the weather is always really good uh, we did have some rain the past couple of days but you can't beat the weather out here, which also means that uh, the car dealers out here in California charge a premium for their vehicles. I don't get it, I don't understand why. I don't get why California is so expensive to to live, to uh, you know purchase cars. I, it, it's, just, it's just kind of outrageous. You see a, a car that was purchased in California, it's hard to believe, but people do pay markups for those vehicles. And this um, carbon fiber track package GT500 is no exception. I think one of the reasons is because our cars, since it doesn't rain a lot, our cars stay in really good condition. With my F-150, with some of the content I've been posting, uh, some of you guys have been commenting that, you know, my truck looks really nice. Uh, it, looks, it's it looks pristine underneath the undercarriage. And I think that has a lot to do with just living in California. It doesn't see that much rain. It doesn't see that much mud. Uh, it doesn't see any snow at all so there's no you know salt or uh, rust going on at the bottom and when people see that a car was purchased from California they automatically you know think oh okay it's more expensive I've seen listings on Auto Trader for for cars and they say a California vehicle and I, you know I think that's part of the reason why it's because they know that it's gonna be in good shape you know it just goes comes with the territory I guess with living here in California
walks, you know, daily, but uh, it's tough. It's tough being stuck inside all day, but we're here staying safe and uh, hope all of you guys are too. All right, guys, here it is. Check this out. It is a 2020 Shelby GT500. It's got the carbon fiber track package on it. It's got a big old carbon fiber wing. Dang. It's a lot bigger in person, guys. Let's walk over here and check out this sticker. All right. Carbon fiber track package. 18.5 technology package, three grand. So total options is $24,100. On top of that 70,300 MSRP. Total MSRP is 95,595. But we come over here. So like I mentioned earlier, living in California, you do pay a $50,000 dealer markup. They are asking $145,595 for it. It's a beautiful car. I really like how they did the this uh, front end here with just the snake out in the front. Subtle, but not too subtle. They got the GT500 right there, and then it says, Shelby, just like the GT 350s do. I want to check out these carbon fiber wheels here. Wow. The big old Brembo brakes. This is the rear. You guys have got to see how big the front brakes are. Check this out. Uh, I mean, it takes up that whole wheel. You barely have. They have less than an inch between that wheel, fully exposed carbon. They have, uh, you can see it, 305, 30. In the, that's the front, 305's in the front. That's what I'm running in, the, in my rear. Let's see, Pilot Sport Cup 2. And... 315 in the rear and man with that track pack they really got that dialed in there so this is the perfect spec that I would be looking for just like with my uh, 2013 Shelby GT500 uh, I opted for the no stripes over the top and I think it really gives a clean look that white with with no stripes super super clean this hood tray right here, man, that thing is huge too. That is a fully uh, functional hood and can be removed for track days. You got this, uh, this, this package down here for the track pack. You have the louvers here down the side. I'm actually kind of surprised those aren't carbon fiber. Looks like this is carbon. Well, there you have it. There is a uh, 2020 Shelby GT500, a little uh, walk around there uh, that they have down here at this dealer. Uh, tell me what you guys think about it. Comment down below in the comments what you guys think about that dealer market that they have on it. 50 grand, uh, $145,000, man, that is, that is a lot of money. If you guys like this content, I would really appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, have some more content, have some more plans coming up. I started doing some research for uh, my 2013 Shelby GT500 and uh, subscribe for more of that.
let me know what you guys think about it. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in to another episode of Hot Wheels Dead, and I will uh, catch you guys in the next episode. All right, peace.